In yesterday's parliament session, the Environment Minister presented the bill to amend the Climate Change Act. Governor Baird, who was among the few leaders that supported the changes, said PNG has no time to waste and must make a bold statement to the world leaders in the coming COP26 meet in Glasgow in Scotland. We should go with some concrete suggestions for the planet and for the leaders of the net polluting countries. And that should be to offer to stop all logging in our country. And for that, part of this $200 billion that the world keeps talking about needs to be given in consideration so we can replace what we are losing if we shut down the logging operations for good. In 2014, a decision by the National Executive Council was approved to cater for changes and align relevant policy framework by the Environment and Conservation Department. Or a governor who will be part of the PNG contingent says a stronger voice will be tabled at the meet. Governor Bird, I assure you, we are not going there just to shake hands and talk to people. We are going to speak to the world and let them know that yes, we have this forest and this amazing biodiversity, but let's trade. We may be cash poor, but we're natural resource rich. You may be cash rich, but you're natural resource poor. Let's trade. Western Highlands Governor Pius Wingti also backed the bill stating PNG must act now to save its environment. He says if nothing serious is done, many communities will be victims of climate change. He says this will also have effects on the country's economy. Wingti says the law must support more efforts to protect the environment. And Minister, I supported your program and we have been advising all our schools to plant trees. And that is the program for the future. Because if we do it successfully here, we can also trade. And I believe the other developing countries could assist us on this because we will make a big contribution towards saving this planet. Environment Minister Wera Mori says the law is a political voice for the country. Mori says CCDA with other development partners and state agencies will be at the forefront to implement objectives of the amended Climate Change Act of 2015. My ministry and CCDA will create climate change ambassadors' roles and voice to mobilize actions and have this envoys based in Europe, America, and Asia to grasp opportunities emanating from the European Green Deal and American Green Deal as well. I therefore seek your support in endorsing the amendment to the Climate Change Management Act 2015. Jack Lopawa Jr. National MTV News.